DoorDash finally changed the order screen in my market. How do I know? Well, I was driving and I received this order. That day really did not begin so well anyways. It was raining in Los Angeles. And if you live in LA, you already know that when it rains in LA, basically the roads are flooding because apparently the engineers who built this city never saw rain before. So they just didn't think about it. And the orders were not coming as fast as I thought they would on a rainy day either. Then I got this great surprise to not even being able to see the items, the address or the delivery notes, thanks to this great update on the app. So I decided to accept this $16 order because you gotta begin somewhere, right? And obviously everything that this guy ordered was out of stock. Literally half of his order was out of stock and he didn't want any replacements for anything. I mean, what do you replace pumpkin spice coffee creamer with? Another brand of that you say? Yeah, that was not in stock either. And for some reason, the entire city of Los Angeles decided that it was the perfect moment to go grocery shopping. So the store was full and the parking lot was full as well. place and the note said buzz whatever unit his apartment is and i will buzz you in okay that's easy enough that didn't work either keep in mind it's raining that day and it was not covered his intercom was not covered the entrance of his building was not covered so i tried to call him on the call box it didn't work i tried to call him on the app it didn't work i sent him messages it didn't work. So I was about to literally leave his stuff at the front gate because I just could not get in. It's not that I didn't want to, it's just I could not get in. And I was about to leave it at the door and in the rain. When literally five seconds later, I hear somebody running and he, the customer, opens the door. And he said, oh, I'm sorry, it's been a really long day. Well, thanks to you, those five minutes under the rain felt like an eternity. And Uber Eats also tried to send me a triple stack order. It looked great on paper, but in practice, believe me, this is a really crappy order. I had a super, super slow start of my day, which is unusual for Mondays. I got my hair. It's been sprinkling, sprinkling in LA, so I can. My hair is just all frizzy and stuff, and and everyone is just um, driving like it's the last day that they're spending on Earth. Anyways, so after all of those things that happened today, <laughs> that you saw in the, in the intro, I had this nineteen dollar order for Crystal, so that was an okay order. It's just like honestly, Uber. Yeah, that's cool. They put replacements in the app. So first of all, you kind of have to double check every time because it will look the same, but at some point it says customer approved and sometimes it says suggestions. So basically you think that the customer approved replacements and they actually didn't. And the thing is they have to approve every single replacement and most of the time they end up not approving. The thing is, I'm not sure if they get the notifications or not, but basically they never approved the replacements. So it's like I'm just wasting my time. There was a bunch of stuff that was out of stock for her order. So she wanted re refunds for literally everything that was out of stock. <laughs> on uber eats again and i took it but i didn't see where it was going because when you're on, on a delivery already it doesn't show you the map which in my opinion is stupid but anyways and then i got a 15 
original order on DoorDash going the opposite way. Honestly, I prefer the DoorDash app, even though now they're giving us the new screen and all of that for shop and deliver while you're on an order. I prefer the DoorDash app. And the thing is, since I can't see where it's going on Uber Eats, like I took a screenshot and then I look at the crossroad that they're giving us, kind of. The thing is, I can't see the delivery instructions. Like, you know, it's a pain. So if I could see the delivery instructions before, while, like after accepting, like DoorDash, after accepting, but before the delivery it would be great, but you can't, like you have to wait until after you're about to deliver. And sometimes it's like the delivery instructions are just bullshit. And you're like, oh, if I knew this was the delivery instructions, I probably would not have taken this order. So I decided to unassign the Uber Eats one, take the DoorDash one because it was going in different ways, like opposite ways, because the DoorDash one I already delivered to and I knew she was gonna be answering. So that's the whole difference between DoorDash and Uber Eats. Like knowing where we are going as drivers is, what the hell is this dude doing? to her she was 10 minutes away um there was parking right in front of her building that was a great order now i'm back at the store it's 6 47 it's been really slow although in the store it's not slow at all i don't know why when it when it's raining it's it looks like when it's raining everyone's going to the store for some reason and you're like but it's raining i would have thought the contrary like if it's raining you stay home instead of going to the store but anyways it's been super hectic in there but not on doordash and not on uber eats i still don't know if uber eats is trying to do like instacart with like percentage tip on shop and deliver orders and reduce the tip if something is refunded that order ended up being 17 dollars instead of 19 dollars which kind of sucks right so thank you uber i then took the food delivery from that burger place that i already deliver from i was secretly hoping or a hidden tip since it was placed through the restaurant's website and not from the DoorDash app, but it was only 96 cents hidden, which technically is still a hidden tip, but you know what? Okay, so I got a $16 order on DoorDash for Irina. I've never um, delivered to her. And she had, well now, since they changed um, the screen, order the order screen just for shop and deliver like the only one that you want to be able to use the widget is the one that you can't make it make sense hopefully it goes back to normal and she had a pack of water and i was like you know what whatever it's 16 dollars. she didn't have a lot of things so i was like okay whatever and then she sent me a message and she was like oh you can refund the pack of water I thought I would have a, a male dasher and uh, you can refund, it's too heavy. And I was like, oh, that's super nice. So I told her, you know, if it's just one, I should be okay, which is true. I mean, it's kind of a struggle, but it's okay. It's not like two or three. And she was like, no, no, I insist. Uh, you, you can refund, there are all the things that you have to carry. So I refunded the the pack of water she was super nice she was answering really fast and um she was really close to the store as well and she gave me the gate code and everything but she has i guess it's like a night uh guard there so he was like oh which apartment are you searching for and i was like 201 and he was like oh arena it was the first time that happens to me that somebody knows who i'm looking for by name so i guess she's actually really really nice Thank you. What apartment do you want? 201. 201 here. Oh, Yeah. Second floor. You get out. Right there. Left? Okay. It's right there. 
Oh, just in front. Okay. <laughs> yes. Thank you. So that's done. It's 8.57 p.m. I haven't hit $100, which I'm kind of sad about, but I think I'm gonna wrap it up here because I've been waiting and nothing is really happening. After 9 p.m., it's gonna be mostly only fast food restaurants. Thank you for riding along with me. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and I will see you in the next video. Peace.